And Matthew Boyd's on the mound today. The Tigers are going to need Matthew Boyd to be at his best today against this very potent lineup of the Texas Ranger. How is he going to do it? He's got a four-seam fastball that he'll work the top of the strike zone with. He'll work the bottom of the strike zone with a good changeup and a good slider. There is our leadoff guy, Marcus Simeon. How about his 43 RBIs as a leadoff hitter this season? One away on a strikeout by Matthew Boyd. Corey Seager this year, 329, four home runs, 19 RBIs, OPS just under 1,000. Here's a chopper to first, make it to second. Nick Maytop to Andy Rabanez. Low batting 273, five homers, 29 runs batted in. Low goes to the left side, gobbled up by Zach Short, and a 1 2 3 start to this Memorial Day for Matthew Boyd. Nathan Nibaldi on the mound for the Rangers here this afternoon. He's got a 6 and 2 record and a 2.60 ERA over 69 and a third innings. 66 strikeouts, 11 walks. Opponents hitting only 224 against the right-hander. Zach McKinstry leads things off, playing right field today. At 2-2, 97 miles an hour, swung on and missed, and there's the first strikeout victim of the day for Nate Evaldi. Ready to square off against Javier Baez. 2-2, two -two, and there's a broken bat lifted to Marcus Simeon, and my goodness, there are broken bats, and there's what we just saw there to Javier Baez, who still has the bottom of the bat in his hand. Riley Green is hitting 293, pitched very tough by the White Sox over the weekend. And here's a little tapper up the middle. Corey Seager is there over to first, and the inning is over in a very quiet one, two, three inning for the Tigers. We pitch to Young. He swings and lines one into the right center field, a base hit. First base runner of the game for either side, a leadoff single, or first pitch single, excuse me, for Josh Young. And the Rangers have a man on with one out. They got him picked off. Evanias will chase him down, and now tagged out by Maytar. Matthew Boyd helping himself out right here. There's a real nice pickoff right here. Nice move there. He struck him out. Third punch out of the day for Matthew Boyd. Big spot here for Eric again. Base is loaded, none out. He delivered the game winner on a sacrifice fly yesterday. 2-1, and this one grounded to the right side. Lowe's going to come home, and the force out is made. Throw a little bit wide, but Jonaheim does a nice job holding home plate. One out here with the bases still loaded. As he hits a ground ball to Corey Seager, slow roll. They're over to Simeon for one to first. No, they did not get the double play. I think everybody in that infield believed that they did. Bruce Bochy, he's got his hand up. He's got 15 seconds to make a decision. They're going to challenge it. And very quickly, Will Venable tells him, yeah, go ahead and challenge this one. And if it holds up, that was an incredible double play turned by the Ranger. Texas is challenging the play at first base. As we're watching this slow-mo, oh, yeah, he got him. I didn't think the ball was hit hard enough yeah. to Corey. But take a look how quick Corey, he comes in, gets rid of it quickly. I think you're probably right. Jeremy Rehack is the first place um, first base umpire. And I got to tell you, this wasn't even that close. Those guys have made the decision. Evaldi's still standing at home play next to the home plate umpire. But everybody else with the Rangers. Yeah, after they saw it up on the big screen. <laughs> it's inside the dugout. They're like, all right, that's enough. After review, the call is overturned. The runner is out. Texas will change their challenge. Here's Laoti Tavares. Switch hitter batting from the right side against the lefty Boyd. Here's one line to right field, and that one is going to get over the head of the right fielder, McKinstry, and that is going to be a one-out double for Leoti Tavares. He continues to swing a hot bat. Leoti, 90 feet closer. Here's Simeon, 0 for 1 against Boyd. Ground ball to third. Hot shot, handled by Short. Nice job by Matthew Boyd. He strands the one-out double. Robbie Grossman leading off this fifth inning. Grounded out to Short in his first at-bat. But he makes the pitchers work, and he adds to their pitch count. That's a good walk from Robbie Gross. The first out here in the top half of the fifth. It brings up Bubba Thompson. Squares to bunt, lays it down. Matthew Boyd has one play, and he hit the runner. And they're going to call Bubba Thompson out of the 45-foot lane, and that means that Robbie Grossman's going to have to go back to first base. So second out of the inning. Simeon, who is 0 for 2 today. And there's a 3-1. That one just misses. And so now a couple of base runners here after two walks. One to Robbie Grossman and now one to Marcus Simeon. Corey Seager now will step in against Matthew Boyd. Offers at a first pitch breaking ball. Hits it high and deep to right field. And that one is gone. Corey Seager on a first pitch curveball. Hits a home run to right field and the Rangers are on the board. Home run number six 
for the Rangers shortstop. Now we've got some runs. Texas three, Detroit nothing. Marcus Simeon now steps in. Bases loaded, nobody out. The best in baseball with runners in scoring position. And here's the first pitch, and this one is lifted into center field. Riley Green is chasing. He's under it. He'll make the catch, but Grossman will tag from third. Tavares from second to third. And there's another run across the board for the Rangers. It's now four to nothing. Corey Seager steps in, runners at first and third, one outs. And this one is lined into right field, and it's going to drop in front of McKinstry. Tavares will trot home. It'll be an RBI single for Seager, his fourth RBI of the afternoon, and it is now five to nothing, Rangers. Rangers with a base runner here in the eighth inning and a five nothing lead, and that brings up Robbie Grossman. Ground ball to first. Nice play by Ibanez to second for one. The relay, nice stretch, and they got him. Ibanez flashing the leather. Gets up, accurate throw to Javier Baez. Back to Baez. Texas is challenging to call it first base. Hitting it with that left foot. Oh, yeah, he's safe. He's safe. It's a good stretch from Baez. Not a regular first baseman. He maxed out everything he had <laughs> outside of the split. <laughs> yeah, I think that one may get overturned right here. After the call, overturned. The runner is safe. Texas retains their challenge. That'll give Leody Tavares a chance here with two outs and Grossman over at first base. And this one is lined up the middle for a base hit. Grossman's going to go first to third. Tavares will pull up at first. So now some runners in scoring position, at least one of them over at third base. Travis Jankowski, who came on as a pinch hitter in the seventh and delivered a single out into right center. Jankowski swings and foul tips it into the glove of Eric Haas, and that's the inning. Bruce Bochy goes into the bullpen once again. So far, it's been a really good afternoon for Ranger relievers. Jose LeClerc is called upon to finish this one out. It'll be Badu, then Eric Haas, and Andy Abanez for the Tigers here in the ninth. And he gets rewarded with a leadoff walk. Here's the 1-1. Ground ball left side. Corey Seager has it. Over to Marcus Simeon for one. To Nathaniel Lowe. Double play. No better way to erase a threat than a 6-4-3 double play here in the ninth inning. Last hope for the Tigers. Banez at the plate. And this one grounded to the left side. Josh Young has it. Over to first. And this one is over. A shutout for Ranger pitching today. Nate Ovaldi started this game. Five shutout innings for him. And a very nice job by the bullpen after that to keep the Tigers off the board the rest of the way. 